Hey everyone, uh, my name's Kelvin and welcome back to another watercolor tutorial for Procreate. In this video I've got another super simple project for you guys. Uh, we're going to paint this um, pretty basic peach illustration. And I think this video is important because I'm going to cover two techniques that I don't think I've covered in previous videos. So I'm going to start out with a blank watercolor paper texture. And uh, in this case, I'm using the St. Petersburg watercolor texture. And as far as the brushes, I'm going to pretty, uh, I'm going to be using pretty much just the basic brush kit, like the uh, abstract round and the fine liner pen. And uh, I'll put links to those in the description as well. So for this one, it's really simple. There's no, uh, it's not necessary to make a sketch first. So I'm just going to start with a blank layer here underneath the paper texture. And I'm going to try to find as close to a peach color that I can find, which is a little bit difficult, but it's okay because we can shift the hue later on and kind of dial it in. So this is pretty close to a peach color. I'll grab the abstract round and at a pretty big size, I'm just going to make basically a big circle like that. And I think it's a good idea to start out with a circle because it's going to help us get the right proportions. And uh, after I've made the circle, I can just grab the eraser, uh, which by the way is set to the fine liner pen brush. Uh, and that has a really nice kind of rough edge look. But I'm going to use the eraser and just sort of carve out a peach shape here. There we go. So it just has this kind of lobe shape on top. And then down here, it almost comes to kind of a point. It's not rounded and it doesn't dip in like an apple. And uh, now I'm gonna grab the water blender brush and just blend up some of these hard edges. And then after that, I'm gonna grab the abstract round again, which still has the same color loaded up. And I'm just gonna add a few random strokes over here on one side, and then also a few on the other side like that. And I'll grab the water blender again and just mix those up a little bit. But I'll try to leave a few hard edges behind. There we go, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, I did try to give it a kind of a water stain effect by making little wiggling brush strokes with the water blender, just so it has that sort of flowing pattern. And now after this, I can dial in the color. So I'm going to go to hue, saturation, and brightness, and just shift the whole uh, hue of this whole layer until I find a more sort of peach-like color. I think that's pretty good. Uh, I want to add some color variation because typically on a peach, you have areas that are sort of peach and then more yellow. So I'm just going to make a random freehand selection like that. I'll feather it out quite a bit, hue, saturation, and brightness, and I'll just shift it towards a yellower color like this. And that looks pretty good. It's got some nice texture. Now I'm going to add some shading to sort of define the crease in the peach. So what I'm going to do first is grab the uh, selection tool, and uh, I'm going to make a selection like this, and then I'm going to go back. So it's this kind of crescent-shaped selection, and I'm going to slightly darken that, and I'll raise the uh, saturation a little bit. And I'm going to do another one right next to it. But this time, I'm going to go to Hue, Saturation, and Brightness, and I'm going to lighten that one just a little bit. And I won't mess with the saturation. Now if I grab the Water Blender, I can just blend the outer edges of these uh, um, crescent shapes, uh, and it'll give me a nice fade. There we go. So I've got some nice shape there. Now at the top and the bottom, I will blur that edge just a little bit so it's a little bit less defined. So I'll just sort of blur it out completely like that. Uh, and then I'll just sort of pull it in just so it sort of fades off into nothing there, just so it's not so hard uh, on the corners of it. And I went over the edge a little bit here, so I'll just clean that up with the eraser. And I think I want to adjust the colors again, so I'll go back to hue, saturation, and brightness and just play with this, maybe saturate it a little bit and try to get it a little bit more peachy. So after that, I want to add some shading to make this like a kind of spherical object. So I'm going to grab the selection tool again here, and I'm going to make a selection on one side, the shadow side like that. I'll feather it out quite a bit, hue, saturation, and brightness, and I'll darken it, but you have to saturate it to kind of balance that out. Uh, and I'm going to do it again, but this time it's going to be a little bit of a harder shadow like that. I won't feather it. I'll just go to hue, saturation, and brightness, and just darken that, saturate it a little bit, and then I'll go in there with the uh, water blender and soften up that hard edge there. There we go, that looks pretty good. Uh, next I can add a little stem up there, so I'm still on the same layer. I'm just gonna grab a kind of darker, almost a brown color. I'll use the fine liner pen, and I'll just carefully draw a little square up there. And then I'll grab the blender tool, and at a pretty small size so I can fit it in there, I'm gonna sort of blend out that boundary so it looks like these colors were sort of 
uh, both wet when they were painted on and they're kind of blending together. And now I can do the uh, leaves here. So I'll make another layer for those. And I'm just going to select a pretty bright green color. But again, if it's wrong, I can use the hue shifter and shift it a little bit. So abstract round, medium size, and these will be stroke based. And I'm just going to start very soft and press harder and then taper it off again. And I think this was a little bit too big, so I'll adjust the size and then try again. But this looks pretty good. I just want to move it a little bit because um, I just want it to be barely, barely, barely touching the uh, peach there like that. Then I can grab the water blender. And I'm just going to blend where these leaves came together. And then I'll add a simple detail to these leaves. Uh, just with the freehand selection tool, I'll just draw like a um, kind of vein down the middle of each leaf. I won't feather it. I'll just go straight to hue, saturation, and brightness. And I'll just darken it just a tiny bit, just so you can barely see it there. Uh, and now at the top, I'll make a random selection, feather it out, and just shift it a little bit towards yellow. There we go, just so these aren't so flat and boring. Now if I zoom out here, I can get a better look at this. And I want to play with these leaves just a little bit. There we go. And I'll erase them here where they go in the stem, just so they don't cover the stem too much. And then I can go ahead and just merge the leaves and the peach onto one layer. Go and grab my water blender, and I can blend the areas uh, where these different colors come together. So there, and then also just where it barely, barely, barely touched the peach. And this will give us a nice kind of blending effect that looks a lot like real watercolor. Now I'm gonna move on and do the slice over here real quickly. So using the abstract round brush in a kind of yellow color, I just painted this sort of slice shape here. Now I'm gonna grab the eraser tool, which is still set to fine liner pen. And at a medium size, I'm just gonna sort of chip away at the inside of this slice. Because when you take a peach, the pit kind of rips out and it leaves a little bit of a space in there. There we go. And uh, I'm gonna make a kind of ombre fade here. So I'll use the selection tool set to freehand and just select down half of that slice. I'll feather it out, hue, saturation, and brightness. Uh, I'm gonna raise the brightness, lower the saturation, and maybe shift the hue a little bit towards that peach color. And now on the inside of the slice, I'm gonna go in there and make this really jagged selection like this. I won't feather it. I'll go right to hue, saturation, and brightness. And I'm gonna try to shift the hue until I get uh, a color that looks like the outer skin of the peach, but a little bit darker. There we go, that looks pretty good. The inside of the peach, uh, really close to the pit, has this really dark saturated color. So I'm gonna blend that edge with the water blender just to soften it up a little bit. There we go, and that ended up a little bit too soft. So I'm gonna go over it again with the selection tool, make another kind of jagged selection, but inside that, I'll feather it out just a tiny bit, hue, saturation, and brightness, and I'll just darken it there, saturate it, and then shift it a little bit more towards purple just so it gets kind of like almost overly saturated on the edge. And with that done, I can do the outer skin. And I'm gonna do that with the, the uh, freehand selection tool because it's pretty easy. Uh, I'm just gonna go and barely select along the edge like that. I'm gonna feather that out just a little bit. Hue, saturation, and brightness. And I'll shift the hue, saturate it, and just play around with the colors until I get something sort of close to that uh, peach skin color. Uh, and then I'll do it again here. But this time, just barely, barely, barely catching the edge, and only in a few areas. So I'm intentionally going off into the white uh, and then selecting just part of the edge. So you can see here I've got it, but I go way off the edge here. I'm not gonna feather that. I'm just gonna go straight to hue, saturation, and brightness, and I'll darken that edge and saturate it. And you'll see I get a really interesting uh, uh, hard edge type of contrast, but it's not consistent at all. And I really like that look, especially for something kind of more abstract like this. And that peach slice is done, and I'm gonna do the same effect uh, to the peach here. So let me grab that peach, and uh, I'm gonna grab the uh, freehand selection tool, and I'm just gonna go along the edge too, just barely along the edge, missing in some areas and getting it in a few other areas. And then I'll circle back and connect the selection. So I have this sort of extreme, almost uh, donut-shaped selection. And then I'll go to hue, saturation, and brightness. And I'll darken that edge. And you can see it just starts to come out like that. Uh, I'll saturate it, and there we go. That's pretty good. And now I wanna define the uh, crease here. So I'm gonna use the selection tool again, and just go along that crease. 
And then just before I get to the corner, I'm going to go back and I'm going to try to stay as close to the original line as possible. Like I'm not even trying to imagine I'm drawing a gap. Any gap that happens is totally by accident. Now I can go to hue, saturation, and brightness. And I'll do the same thing. I'll just lower the brightness, raise the saturation. And there we go. Here's how I'd paint a cute, simple uh, peach illustration. Uh, if you like these kind of simple projects, uh, give this video a like and let me know if you have any suggestions for future videos uh, in the comments. And uh, as always, uh, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.